What do black people think about white people? I went to a school that was predominantly black when I was growing up. And when I first saw the first white kid, I was like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, racism at its finest. Let's see. Do black people, how will they fall on the spectrum? I Wait, does the spectrum mean? Never mind. Aren't my race. I act different around people who are my race. Three, two. Yo, what the f is Bruce doing in this video? No way, Bruce made a cameo in this. Hold on. W. My race. Three. Look at that Bruce in the back. I see you, Bruce. I see you, Bruce. I see you. Two, one. That's Bruce in this video. I think the most important thing Damn. is just to authentically be yourself, and I don't think being around people who don't look like you should be a reason for you to act any different. Damn. Yeah, for me, I guess it's like um, within the confines of like the workforce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking code switching. Because if you show up to a, um, a meeting talking like this, they're like, Gay. Got it. Oh, sorry. They'll use the slang to sell the products and to tweet and to get the clicks and stuff. But like, as soon as a worker's there who's authentically from the area and talking like people from the area, it's like, ooh, we don't like that. You know, because it's always like, well, be yourself until you yourself. And then it's like, ooh, I don't like yourself. Unfortunately, in a lot of the areas of work, it's like you, you almost have to like lie to these people to be like, I'm a robot. I'll like, you know, I love your company. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's sick. It's sick. But it's, it's like, true. you have to get, you, you it's know. It's true. Yeah. Like, I feel like code switching is one part, but also like there are certain parts in my own community that aren't accepted that when I'm around different people that look like me, I can express myself differently. Chad, she's like a I black like Bianca. I talk a little proper. Sometimes I get a little slack for it from my side of the family. But when I go out into the world, sometimes I like EDC. I like tech music. I like, you know what I'm saying? See, for me, I feel like it has nothing to do with race. It more has to do with just being professional. Like if I'm at work, then I'm obviously going to be a little more proper, you know, a little bit less slang and all of that and just more careful with my rhetoric but i don't think it has to do with race anonymous appreciate it sub like i work in political media so i'm on camera a lot so people already know who i am and what i'm coming with but that being said it's like when i'm around oprah size son what the f I think that I don't understand the culture and all this different stuff. So sometimes I have to fill it out like, are these people who are just gonna call me an Uncle Tom, or are these people like I can actually just keep it all? Bro, the look at his so shoes. That's the only time I feel like I act different because of what kind of drip is that? Political media, but as a leftist, and I honestly feel like I've definitely benefited from being able to be in spaces where I've been able to be authentically myself, and I definitely think that's a privilege, especially where I like grew up is just like something that's regularly happening that people have to go through but personally I think I've been able to especially now in a business side and now my new workplace I feel like I don't have to adapt my language to make she's yapping at what point is it like damn we can't even really have conversations without buttoning up and being like oh this is how we we have to ha talk like this because so they'll listen or like regard us as but do you people. think that's racial or do you think that's I was about to say nigga that's not even racial bro like bro don't dress up sagging your pants wearing a fucking wearing a fucking ripped jacket that say 720 Yeezy on it and nigga and wearing Timberland boots talking about some what's up shout it I'm ready to work my McDonald's shout it like nigga it's that simple don't be a thug it's not a racial thing just don't be a thug I don't know that if I don't know that it's because I'm right I know where you're going. <laughs> you see me. We see I know. I, I think. Yeah, okay, I know exactly where he's going. I don't think it's intrinsically rooted in race, but I think just the way the social genetic makeup of people are. I think just by way of people of specific races speaking a certain way or being perceived a certain way, it just it tends to be more often than not rooted in race, based off of like urban Black Americans. Yeah. I think most people have barriers they put up when they get introduced to a new group. I went on disagree instead of strongly disagree because like there have been situations where I get introduced to a group of I'm someone of a This nigga pretty as Hey Dami, I think I meted your evil lil twin in juvie. He put his pee pee in me. You need to stop him. PLS dom slash and he said he's- Ah uh, bro, like why are you watching me in juvie bro? Race. And like, but once I get comfortable with them, those walls come down and then- Hey yo, walls. Comes up.
For me, it really uh, depends because uh, I've been shooting music videos in the hood, so I really yeah, he's need one of those. to basically adopt myself to become a black person. So for me, it's whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. Why you say hood and then say black people? Hold on, bro. You trying to say all black people from the hood? What the? F I'm like meeting whoa races. I always like vibe and chill with people. Do you think adapting yourself to those? different ethnicity, ethnicities is like something that's required to um, foster like a successful relationship? Like I would say it's really more for your survival because you know like if you are the only white guy on like on set and like there's like people with like guns and stuff and you know you just really need to like fit in and just be chill with it. Mm -hmm. Dude. So you're telling me you're trying to fit in with a bunch of f***ing crash outs just because to look cool. That makes no sense, bro. Nigga is quite literally a You're from the Ukraine, right? Do you feel like being, like not having grown up with American culture as a whole, and then especially not growing up with our subcultures, do you feel like that's she definitely says, nigga. the way you move when you're moving between our subcultures? my like mentality is kind of mixed because like from the age of like 13 I really started to to learn English from that I really learned a lot like I really got the American like mentality more and basically like my mentality is like mixed because like in uh, Ukraine if uh, if we see a black person we call them the n-word what and what yo I'm about to move to Ukraine Hey, snap! What the f W Ukraine! And from our side, it's not offensive. Like, we say it not from an offensive way, but some people can because, you know, like, you don't see a black person there. I can understand that because I went to a school that was predominantly black when I was growing up. And when I first saw the first white kid, I was like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, like All right, but like, <laughs> If I go to a cotton field and I say, what, never mind, bro. There was a white girl with like red hair and I was like, whoa, I've never seen this before. You know what I'm saying? So like, I understand that like when a white person comes to a predominantly black group, then you're going to try your best to adapt to that, to our culture, to be like, okay, hey, I get along with you. This is my way of like telling you like, hey, this is, I'm like extending an olive branch basically. So yeah. Personally, not to sound triggered, but I just don't like the notion that you're becoming a black person by pretending to be hood or no, adopting a hood mentality like because not all black people are hood, not all black of people course. are ghetto. Real. So, I understand what you're trying to say, and I don't know if it's a language barrier, so I don't want to like come at you like you're saying something racist, but I just really am anti black people being defined as ghetto and hood because there's a lot of classy black people out yes, there. They're... That's what I'm saying, bro. He dead just said all black people are hood, bro. I'm not gonna lie, he did just say that. There's a lot of intelligent Afro-Americans out there and- Cause they are. No, they're not! Bro, I'm a hood nigga! Also, if you are hood and ghetto like me, you can also be all those things too. White people also experience race-based prejudice. They do, but they it's really not like, there's no like, there's no hold when you're racist to a white guy. They don't take it offensively because they can easily call you the hard R and a remind you of your history of just getting booty by white people, bro. Like white, ra bro, white racism has no fucking hold, bro. Since you guys probably don't know, I have lived overseas. I've lived in Asian countries. In Japan, um, there are certain restaurants and stuff like that that you could walk into. You can see people dining in the restaurant and they're gonna tell you they're closed just because you're white or you're American. This just lied out her ass, bro. Like I went to that same restaurant and she meant that for black people, bro. Like, what is she talking about, dude? So the idea that white people can't really experience racism kind of contradicts the very definition of the word, because um, the definition of racism is prejudice based on one's skin color. White people do experience it, but to a different degree. While I do think that our white brothers and sisters in Christ can experience racial-based prejudice. Go ahead, Bruce. I don't want to overlook the nuance of that prejudice. Go ahead, Bruce. Because it's not necessarily rooted in anything systematic or anything that's gonna actually have long-term effects, knock on wood, that are gonna like 
debilitate a race or, or inhibit their chances or possibility of succeeding or being seen as better than POC? I definitely think it's a non-issue. Racism towards white people, especially specifically, I want to like in America, I'm bus. needs to be highlighted as an issue that is a constant threat to pro progress and success in life in general, because it's not something that's going to inhibit you, and you don't have to walk out your door and think I'm about to be attacked like people of color do every single day. Mm -hmm. I do agree that white people haven't been put through centuries of hell like black people were, but prejudice towards white people 100% exists. Like whether it's in TV, if it's in movies, like if you watch predominantly black media, there's a lot of roasting towards white people that if it was the other way around, that would never be acceptable today. Then you go on social media like TikTok and you look up white people are bad. You will see videos where they're attacking white people for things that their ancestors did 200 years ago. There are societal benefits at this. Uh, there's a thing called genetics. And uh, in genetics, you know, if you mentally are okay with being on a black guy and having them sit and, and like just just torture, bro, then obviously like the next, you know, way around to the next person, they're gonna like that shit too, deep down inside, but they're not gonna admit it. So you know, that's probably why people think that they're, you know, they're still they don't like them because they probably still think they're racist. I mean, like, maybe they're not like that, but it's a possibility. I mean, bro, if your ancestor used to f***ing literally treat black people like right? What the f*** am I talking about, bro? I don't know what the f*** I'm talking about, bro. I'm trying to sound smart, nigga. I'm trying to sound smart, bro. Point for being a person of color and that those negatively affect white people. Like if you look at affirmative action, diversity quotas in the workplace, all these different things, they lower the bar for black people but then increase the bar for white people. However, I think where some of the issue comes is because a lot of marginalized groups and people of color back in the day went through so much worse that it's easy for us to discredit the prejudice that white people now deal with today. I think like on an individualistic level, like yeah, white people get hate all the time. But I think if you zoom out and you look at the big picture, it's a little bit different. And like talking about like YouTube having, you know, racist content for anyone out there, it's like I would have to go and seek that out versus it like coming to me. That's versus like on Twitter against white people? Yeah, I would have to like look for a video being like, oh, people who hate white people. I agree. Like versus like Twitter, I don't have to scroll very long before I see some person making some out of pocket comment about yeah. and regulation some shit. being lifted so people can see that even more so. Right. Absolutely, that's 100% right. And even saying affirmative action, statistically and on paper white people, white women were benefiting more from affirmative action at colleges than and I will say that black people do deal with prejudice. I mm -hmm. think every demographic deals with prejudice. There are racist people everywhere. Like, I just don't think systemic racism is an issue anymore in today's society, mm -hmm. but I do think that there are racist people out there. I think that there's a really important distinction. Our language is constantly evolving, and you were talking about the definition of racism. Our societal definition has changed to include a systemic part of it. And I completely disagree with this idea that people of color don't have systemic things against them still. Because the fact that we still have the KKK, the fact that we still have these things, and they are in positions of power. As long as that exists, and as long as that's a part of our country's like makeup right now, which it is, and that's our power structure, I don't feel like you can honestly deny systemic racism against the black community, which is why prejudice is so different from racism. I don't think white What does prejudice racism. mean? What does prejudice mean? I wouldn't feel safe eating a banana around that big orangutan. Come on, bro. Why, bro? Like, you think she's gonna eat healthy? Means you gay. Ew, what? No way. I feel like you're lying. You're definitely lying, bro. That's not what prejudice means. Prejudice. Oh, she sound bad as f pre Preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Oh, so like a cap rapping ass nigga. You niggas cap rap, y'all prejudice. I'm fucking on this bad bitch. She said, damn, where Judge Judy at? In this country, but we can experience prejudice mm -hmm. based on the societal definitions we now use. Being sexually unattracted to a race is racist. Bro, not they better not that. agree to that. <laughs> Bro, hey, being sexually unattracted to another race is racist. I think where the line gets drawn is when, if a white male is sitting there swiping and he's just like, I don't like black girls, they're all ugly. Cause I'm they oh, that's racist, that's racist, that's I'm racist. Busting. That's racist, I'm not gonna lie. Big lips. I think that's where the line gets drawn, but you 
can't really help what you're attracted to. Like my fiance is Mexican, and it's like I like him for who he is, not how. Because I'm bossing. I think that we are conditioned to um, be attracted and to respond to people that we grow on, grow up and around with. So homogeneously, we grow up with people who look like us. So when you move into dating and things like that, statistically, you're going to be attracted to people that you grew up seeing, right? However, when you are discrediting um, a certain race for whatever reason, based off their ethnicity, meaning everybody who did exist, is existing, and will exist from that race, you are this not- This nigga's yapping. Q, I don't control your body or your thoughts, but on one hand, I'm like, let's maybe unpack that. Also, where's my camera? To all the girls that's putting this in their bios, that's none of our business. Stop doing that. Keep that to yourself. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear it. For me, I think that like, we're talking about conditioning and how we grew up, right? Mm -hmm. If you go to like South Africa, for instance, which within some of our life- Why you have to say Africa, bro? Had apartheid. If you grow up in that, especially as a black person, where you're constantly being mistreated by every single white person, and you're conditioned to be like, white person, no thank you, I don't think that's racist. I agree, and I obviously, I'm, I did not grow up in South Africa with apartheid. Yeah. However, like I said, I the nickname extreme. of my- That is racist. You are dumb as f That's f racist. You literally like, 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 no, 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 no. You literally just judged every white man because a couple white people abused you because you lived in Africa. That's racist. You're judging a race, my nigga. That's judgmental. That's judgmental racism. Like, bro, doesn't mean that she's pretty much just saying, I'm not going to date a white guy because these couple white people abused me. So you're pretty much saying all r white people, you don't like them. Nah, bro. F that, bro. That's racist. I don't give a f that's racist. Town was Clancy. Like a lot of my interactions growing up were incredibly racist, and I'm dating a white guy. So I totally get what you mean. I don't want to discredit black people or anyone who's had those kind of situations because it's not that they're not dating white people. It's yeah. definitely it's more like they're cautious. I think you used the perfect word earlier. Is it con? Damn, he switched. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I see. He knows that. Actually, I was thinking about it on the terms of me being a black woman. I feel like it's a lot different when it is a black woman going into dating someone that is not of their race. Um, I can tell you from my experience with dating Hispanic men, white, whatever, they've only seen Jerry Springer and Maury. So it's like they have a whole different idea of what a black woman is. Like before my husband changed a lot, one of the comments made to me was he was afraid of me going to his house with braids in my hair, yeah. because then they would assume that I was a different kind bussing. of girl instead of looking at me for I'm who I am. I have been denied access because of my race. Denied access? What does that mean? Like your, I can like your iPhone? Anywhere. I can sit down anywhere, and I am not going to be denied because of how I look. And I would be ignorant to not admit that. And I'm gonna counter that with we are justifiably not let into spaces. And our whiteness takes away access to things like powwows. And there's an island in Hawaii that's only for natives or for- She sound ignorant as saying that, I'm not gonna lie. Counter that with we are justifiably not let into spaces. And our whiteness takes away access to things like powwows. And there's an island in Hawaii that's only for natives or for like safe spaces for black communities or whatever else. We are justifiably denied access because of our skin. Period. We love the nuance. The thing about Hawaii, though? Yeah. Hawaii is stolen land. I believe that they have every right to be able to say only we're allowed to go here. Because that was theirs. It was literally stolen land that was stolen by white people. Yes. No, but that's why yeah. it's justifiably, it's still denied access. Yeah. But it is justifiable, 100%. Don't yeah, let me in. Yeah, it's denied access, but it's justifiable. I'm but it's like, go anywhere. I can sit down anywhere. I can go read a book in a library. I can go to Starbucks. People don't fear me because of how I look, and so they don't feel the need to be like, you Yo, that is racist. Fear me. But like in, in your day-to-day -day life- So you saying you black people fear you, fear you, because you're black. Being denied access, like are you trying to go to that island? That no. they won't let you, okay. Then I think that's a really good question. Like am like-, like ha Has it happened? Um, I guess. Because like are you seeking yeah. those spaces then? I'm not necessarily seeking them. If I am already aware that this is like, hey, this is for us, not for you. 
I'm not gonna show up and be like, yeah, but like, yeah. I'm a cool white person. But there are spaces that we are not allowed, and I think that's okay. No, it is okay, but if you're not actively seeking to be part of those circles, you're not being denied access to them. I will agree with that. Sh sure, and I, like, and I can say that maybe those are not the best examples, but like, I think especially because my social circles are predominantly people of color, there are definitely things where they're like, where I've had them be like, this is not a conversation for you, and I'm like, okay. I have had those experiences. I'm okay with them. I want to be clear. Nah, like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Watching this shit dead gonna make me racist, bro. Like, like, bro, just just love a person for what they look like, bro. Like, bro, stop being racist. Bro. I think there should be space. Stop thinking you fucking important. Bossing. That aren't for. And stop donating me, nigga. Shut up. Oh damn, he said, "Hey Dom, hope you're having a good day." <sighs> Shut up, nigga. And that is okay but they've existed and they've been in my life. I have just one really specific example. Otherwise, I feel like in general, I'm not I'm denied access because of my race, just in my experience. But I had an ex whose stepfather was wildly racist, like Nazi memorabilia, like mm. just insane individual. Oh and I was never allowed over her house because yeah. of him. And the one time that I kind of snuck in, he was staring at me through the window. And I'll never forget that yep. in my life, the way that man was staring at me through the window and then cursed out his kids for having me in the house. That man's now in prison for doing God Something. knows what, <laughs> but uh, it's where he belongs. I was looking for funding for, um, for my film, and most of them are for colored people. And is that why that I nigga's totally gay now? Ne never mind, bro. I'm sorry. Is, I'm sorry. Like, not many that I found that are for, like, everybody. My mind would be like, you know, uh, damn, I cannot do it. Like, I cannot apply to it. But from the other side, I understand that the black community, like, you guys need to get, get your movies out there. If anything, I feel like I've been invited too much. You know, I, I, I feel real. like I'm kind of like an undercover agent where yeah. I'm like, like, because I talk a certain way or because yeah. I present myself a certain way, they assume like, oh, I could say this 100%. in front of you. And I'm like, what do you say? Exactly. <laughs> it's a form of token, you know, I've That's never real. had Too, I've been tokenized yeah. so Amen. many times. I'm like, I don't want like, that. We right? have to have you here. We need young black representation. And I'm yeah. like, yes, yeah, so I'm going to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, proud. I'm proud of my race. Y'all better say you agree. Of my race. The f Three, two, one. All right, bro. Bro, white people try not to get canceled, bro. Like, oh my god, y'all so lame, nigga. I will go first, and I will stand ten toes in. I was just being ironic to I stand think. over there. Okay, baby. I, was, I said, please no. No, please, I, 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 I cried a little bit. I'm being I think messy. That, like, and I'll just keep it specific to two. To went to the agree so she didn't look bad like bro this video lame as fuck, bro like niggas is not standing on business y'all are just doing it not to get canceled it's corny bro all around corny like stand on business experience of what i know as black americans we're pretty much the top culture that gets replicated mm -hmm. referenced people scoot in and scoot out because they want to seem cool and interesting and stuff and i think that that's so kind of us to like kind of like be beaten down for so long and be kind of separated from our African roots, create names for ourselves, culture, language around our identities as black Americans and have that be a thing that's just reverberating across the globe. I think that's so cute, can never be replicated, can never be understated, and um, I love that about it. That was kind of the... Chat, the nigga's shirt, the nigga shirt explains everything, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, there's a reason why you wore that f***ing shirt start of my like thought for this video to, like just the basis of being torn down so adamantly so regularly for hundreds of years in law even like it is insane that we are here today to even be on camera to even be in a place with other white people like it is a beautiful thing that we have been able to flourish in such dirt like literal filth and grime that our ancestors had to go through and oh. even our grandparents had to go through like in my 8th grade yearbook, I saw recently said, I'm like, the South will rise again, like, 15. So, like, this is such a day-to-day -day thing, and I am proud to be black, and it's hard to say that. Like, it was hard to say that as a kid, like... Yeah, she fat as f***. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or else I could be called inward, I could be reprimanded, and it's... I feel so blessed to even be able to think that. Everybody needs to be proud of their race and stop this, like, racist shit, because... Real. Like... You could be bossy. green, red, Real. black, white, Real. Hispanic, like. Me, I now have to fight back against the idea that all white people are racist. 
I remember being in fourth grade what? and learning about the Holocaust for the first time and oh saying, my. I don't want to be German anymore. Mm. Meanwhile, my mother's whole family is German. American history, you look at things like slavery, you look at things like um, Jim Crow laws, segregation. There is so much awful stuff that has happened and is still happening in closeted ways that I cannot be proud of the way that I look. Yeah, for me, like, I am proud of who I am, like who I grew up to be, like I like who I am. But like, if I were to say I'm a proud white man, like I don't even know what that means. Like, <laughs> there have been zero racial hurdles in my life. Mm. Now, like, I'm a proud gay man because like, I've had to- That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. My niggas be chillin' Only couple niggas that I know who will kill me She said when I fuck I get her in the feeling Shorty is slutty when she off the Hennessy Bitch name Clint and I go over Hillary Tech